There are a few ways that you can record yourself on Zoom. You can record yourself talking to camera, you can record yourself giving a presentation or a demonstration, and you can record yourself with others. I'm going to show you how to do all of those in this video. Let's start with opening up Zoom. Once you open Zoom, you're going to have some options. So you have new meeting, join, schedule, share screen. Let's start by joining a new meeting. In this new meeting, it's just going to be you and your computer. I'm going to turn on my audio for that. And now I can record myself talking to the computer. To do so, I'm just going to click down here on the record button. So I'm recording this presentation now. I can talk, I can give my information, my talking head parts for any of the videos that I'm creating. The great thing about this is you can edit as you're recording. So I can stop when I make a mistake or if I want to pause between things and then I can start recording again and then continue on. This is great because at the end of your session is when you're going to be saving your recordings. So you can do as many recordings as you want throughout the call. So there we go. We recorded our talking head. Next up, we're going to record us sharing the screen. So stop this. That video is done and let's share our screen. So I'm going to share my presentation with you right here. And then you can see me in the corner here. The limitations of using Zoom is that you're only able to be in one corner. If you move around your video head, it's not going to change the positioning of where you're going to be in the recording. So note that you always will be in the top right corner of your recording. So I'm going to go here to more and I can choose to record on this computer, record to cloud. So I'm going to record on this computer. As I'm giving my presentation, I can either show my face or I cannot. And I can change this throughout the time that I'm giving my presentation. And I can do this by just minimizing this window. So as I minimize the window, I will no longer appear on the video. And then once I expand it, then I will be back and I could talk about it. So this is great if you want to be there for certain parts, but you don't need to be there for other parts. So to stop recording, you're just going to go to your more and you're going to stop your recording. So that stopped another video. Lastly, we're going to show you how to film yourself with others. So let's stop sharing the screen and let's get a participant. To add a participant to your meeting, you can just go down here to participant and click on invite and then you can email them the link so that they can join your Zoom call. So I just sent the link and I'm waiting for my participant to join. Yay, he's here! Okay, so let's let him into the conversation. And now I have two of us. So hi, Ryan. <laughs> you can see me in the background there too. <laughs> okay, so as you're doing this, you can now record it. So when you're recording it, once again, you can choose between the computer or iCloud. So I'm going to choose the computer. The fun thing here is that you can change the view as you're recording. So I can go to my view and I can switch from speaker. Ryan, say something. Hello. <laughs> or I can have gallery view where I'm going to show both of us. And as I switch these, it will switch it in the recording as well. I've switched it to what I wanted. And there's both of us again. And I'm done with my meeting. I can just stop recording it. And once I have all my recordings all done, then I can exit my meeting. So bye, Ryan. And meeting for all. And then as soon as I end my meeting, it's going to start converting the files for me. Depending on how big the files are, it's going to take more time to convert it. So if you're on a Zoom call for hours, it will take some time to convert the file. But if it's a short call, it's not going to take as long. Once they're done converting, then you can access them from your computer. So it's going to open up the folder where you have them. And you can see here I have multiple files. So I have me. With my computer, I have me with my presentation. You can see I'm in that corner there. Or I'm, you can see that I disappeared out of the presentation. And then I'm also in the presentation as I minimized and opened the window. And then the final one, 
you can see here me and Ryan. And then as I switch the view, it also switched in the recording. So it went from the speaker view, so whoever's talking, to the double view. And you can see that show up as is. The great thing is that Zoom also saves your audio files. So you can see you have the audio files as well. And then if you lose this folder and you want to access them, all you have to do is go to your documents and into Zoom and they will be all right in there. So there you have it. Now you know how to record yourself on Zoom. I hope that this was useful. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like or better yet, leave me a comment. I have new videos out every Wednesday. Until next time, peace.